What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to my Stardew Valley playthrough. This is actually episode 20, what a great number. I can't actually believe how many episodes we've done for this series. We are going so smooth right now, smooth sailing, we are enjoying ourselves here. And let's get straight into this one, Friday the 12th, we are in fall, still halfway through the season to go before winter arrives. Let's check the weather, okay, it's no rain tomorrow. But we do have super good luck, which is fantastic. So let's get straight out onto the farm. We've got 20K, we need five more to get the barn upgrade. Okay, so that's what this episode's probably gonna be focused on. Oh, Demetrius has gave us the farm computer recipe. This will scan the farm and display useful information. Now, I have showcased this off in the video when all the new items came out to 1.5, but I've never crafted it myself and actually got it in the game, so that's pretty awesome. Now, one thing we need to do straight away is repair this fence. Finny boy, is, oh, his place is looking rough, so let's get some new fences on the go. We've got plenty of wood. Obviously, we need to save some of that for the barn upgrade, but we've got plenty, that's absolutely fine. So we've made enough here just to repair this. And also we've got more spare if we need to. There we go, Finn. How's that looking? Now I do need the watering can for these crops up here and also his bowl. So let's go get that. Let's give this a refill. Sort him out first and then I'll sort out the crops. Okay, I think the crops are all watered and sorted. There's just these ones here to go. We've got some grapes today. Our first lot. That took so long, right? Let's let out the chickens and go and get their eggs for the mayonnaise. Good chickens. Right, so what I'm going to do, someone suggested this as well, is if we sell all of the rubbish things in here, the things that aren't going to make us much money, like the grapes and blackberries, because if you put those into the preserve jars, you're not going to get much money back because they're low value, right? So we need to be putting these high quality items in here, such as, you know, the blueberries, melons and things like that. So all the cheap things we're going to get rid of. And we can just ship them straight away and get some extra cash. And we've also got a few things to sell as well today. Now let's go and check on the cows and also the crops on the other side. We've actually got some bait today, some more. And an oak resin. Very nice. And some crab pot stuff. We could probably sell them. I don't think we need them. We can cook them to sashimi. Obviously, the most profitable. But I think we can just get them straight into the bin. I don't really mind about that too much. Fruit. We've got one random pomegranate. Let's keep that there. And it might reproduce more fruit for us. Rather than gathering just one at a time. We'll let that build up. We've got some seaweed today on the farm. Nice. I can't wait for these cranberries to finish. These are going to give us so much money, but it looks like we've actually got a few things. Some more yams, which is very nice. And that's about everything. But what I'm actually going to do is, because we've got sprinklers here, I'm going to plant some of these um, wild fall seeds, and we're going to get some things back from this. Now, it's up to you guys if you want to sell these or, I don't know, use them as food or gifts, but it's going to be extra money, right? So... And that's what we need right now. So the ones that we do have, because they're already going to get watered, we can keep those there. But we do have to water just these edges because the soil disappeared. We've got some over here as well that we need to do. But from now on, they should be fine. So let's give these a love. Get their food because they've run out. Get their lovely chocolate and vanilla milk. Large milk as well. Wow. We'll let these outside. I need some grass stars. Uh, can we plant it on here? I'm not sure. Look at this woodpecker. Beautiful. Right, let's get this in here. Right, they should be fine. I'm probably going to go back up to the top end of the farm, sell some things, and dump some things off. And then we are going to focus on a few things today. One of them being is this. We've still got this quest to do for 720 gold. It's the final day, so we need to go to the mines and try and find four lava crabs. Oh, yes, we've got a shipping crate, finally. I haven't seen one of those in a while. And also, guys, look. The tip with the copper pan will take it off our head. And we're going to use it because there's something in here. Iron ore, let's go. And now we can just put this back on our head. I love that. Such a cool tip. Iron ore, that would be nice if it was iridium. But, you know, I'll take it. We've got some good stuff to sell right now. We've got a coffee. Where did that coffee come from? 
Was that the was that the crate? I don't even know what we got. Okay, so this recycling machine I'm gonna put up here with this other one, which is pretty cool. So now we've got two of those. I've actually got some trash to put in there as well. And we got our first seed maker. I'm actually gonna put this just here out of the way for now. Because what we can do, um, if we get this ancient fruit here. If we put this into the seed maker, we're going to get a pack of seeds back. Hopefully, it's more than one. So we've actually made some something off of that. We have got good luck today, so we'll see. I'm going to get my mining stuff because, like I said, we are going to go up there today. So let's get those. Oh, I forgot the milk pail. I have to remind me we'll put that back um, into the other chest later today. And there's our seeds back. Please be two or three. Come on. We only got one. No, we got the bad luck. No. Okay, never mind. So, hold on, did we do the bundle of the special crops? I think we did, right? We've already donated the ancient fruit, so the other one we can put in the seed maker as well. We need more ancient fruit if we want to make big money, so I'm going to put the gold one in, in here as well. Hopefully this gives us at least more than one packet. I'm going to keep this safe in here. We've also got a star fruit that I want to put in there to get the star fruit seeds. There we go, and we got one back again. That's not good. I know sometimes you can get way more than that. I've had like four or five before, I'm pretty sure. But we've got two ancient seeds that we can plant down. In the greenhouse, actually, was a good place to put them. Because obviously they're never going to die then. Because in winter, you cannot get ancient fruit. So I'm going to wait for this star fruit and then we're going to head up to the mines. In fact, we'll go up there now. We can wait for that. So let's go up and try and kill these four lava crabs for the quest. And this will be some good money for us. Probably more than just fishing for a, you know, a full evening or night. We're probably going to get the same amount of money, so... Let's do it. Hello, Linus. You can learn a lot from trees. Spend time with them and they might tell you their secrets. Go in peace, young one. Do you want a blackberry? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's uh, Friday. Things haven't reset yet. The gifts will be reset on Sunday. So we've got a few hours tonight to try and get these lava crabs. So let's see what we can do here. There's one straight away. That's not a bad start. One down, three to go. I see another one. Here it is. Second one, guys. Oh, there's a lot of enemies, though. Come on. There we go. There we go. Two down. On the first floor as well. Gold bar and squid ink from one of those. Oh, damn slime. Right, I'm going to have to eat something quickly because they hurt a lot. We'll take this amethyst. We can sell them. We've got two. Nice. And there's a ladder right at the front here. Now, we still do actually need some more stone, right? So I will try my best to get some of this on the way as well. We're a little bit short, I think, for the barn. Right, let's go down. Two more crabs. Come on. Any? Come on. Any more crabs? Yes. I had a feeling this was one. I could see the shape was different. Oh, God, they do hurt a lot. We'll eat some blackberries. Let's get this... Uh, Health back up a little bit more. You only get 11 for one of these, but I'll take it. Right, that should be good. Get rid of this stupid bat as well. Oh, it's a gold star. Oh, there it is. There's the crab. Let's go. We've got to be careful of that slime. He's a black one, and he's got one of them gold stars, so I think they are very, very strong. Right, I've hurt him a little bit with the bombs there. I think you get good XP from killing them, though. So should we try and take him? I think that's the crabs done. We've got four, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, eat something quickly. He's going to try and jump on us. Right, there we go. Let's do it. Very strong. Look how long he takes to kill. <gasps> oh, what sword is that? we got a tempered broadsword, a level seven, which is so much better than ours. What a find. That's actually a super strong uh, sword. So we've got to talk to Demetrius. We're going to go ahead and do that right now before it gets too late. It's Friday, so we will be at the saloon, which is perfect. And we've got uh, an easy 700 something gold there and a very good weapon. The tempered broadsword. I don't think I've ever had that. Now, the only problem is I'm noticing it's a minus three speed, which is, oh, it sucks. It's very slow compared to ours we've got. But it gives us good defense and it's got a good weight, which means a good knockback and very good damage. It looks like it could withstand anything. So we're going to have to test that out next time we go to the mines. But I'm happy with that. What a find. Right, where's Demetrius? We need him. Always oh, a help request as well. Another one. Uh, oh my god, Demetrius wants a gold bar too. Can we accept both of those? Guys, what I'm going to do is quickly is give him this one. And then go and do that as well. There he is. Hey, I see you called the lava crab population a bit. 
they've been multiplying quicker than normal due to human activity. Now, I'm pretty sure, did we get a gold bar? We did, guys, look at this. We've got a gold bar and Demetrius is on his way back home. So if I accept this, 750 gold on delivery, we've got the gold bar on us already and he's here. And there we go. You brought me the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Here's your payment as promised. So literally, guys, look at this. We've just got 720 gold for the first quest and 750 for this one. We've just made, you know, 1,500 and something gold. What an absolute day. That was insane. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Wow. That was a pretty good uh, help request today. There's no more big ones on here, but we are still walk, uh, working towards one, right? Are we? Are we doing any big ones or have we finished them? Oh, okay, so we have. Did Marnie leave? I've got this amaranth that we need to give her. But yeah, we need to wait for the big help board to pull up a request. That's where we're going to get the big money, but there's none there at the moment. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing else we can do today. We've got quite a few things to sell back at home. Also, we've made some good money for Demetrius there. He's cashed in today. Let's get this cheese. We'll sell that as well with some of the stuff that we've got. And uh, let's call this one a day. One step closer to 25k, guys, to get this barn upgrade. Now, you guys have been telling me how tricky this is going to be. Because obviously, we also need... Was it 12,000? Oh, we've got no space. I'm going to quickly just put the fiber in there. But yeah, we need a lot of money to get a pig itself, which is going to be super tough. But I think we should be okay. Once our crops come in as well, we should make some big money. This is a crazy challenge. I don't know why I chose the profit margin to be only 50. What well, I was trying to complete the community center in the first year. What was I thinking? Okay, we have actually got some wine done here. The blueberry wines, good money. And two star fruit seeds from that one. Why could we not do that with the bloody ancient fruit? Typical, right? Let's put something else in here that's going to be valuable. Uh, maybe another blueberry or cauliflower juice might be very good profit as well. So maybe let's put cauliflower in there. But a blueberry wine, we're going to sell that today. That's going to be great. Let's get to sleep. I'm excited to see how much money we're going to make here. Please be enough to get the barn upgrade tomorrow. That would be so good. But I don't think we're going to make like 4k. Oh, level 6 combat, of course. We did a good day today with the combat. Uh, we've got the slime egg press uh, and the oil of garlic. I mean, I don't really care about the slime hutch that much. I never really get it. And here we go, please. Ooh, 3K. Okay, that's not bad. We're very close now, guys. We nearly got 25K. If we can sell something off today, if any crops are done, I'll sell them straight to Pierre and we might be able to go and get the barn upgrade. Tomorrow is going to be sunny as well and we've probably got bad luck today. Uh, it's neutral, not too bad. Not a bad start to the day. We need any crops that we can take here. Now look, the fairy rose here has done. So this honey is going to start producing us some fairy rose honey, which is very good. I'll sell the other two. Chickens have came straight out. Good morning, chickens. We'll go get your mayonnaise. We need this daily income. Like I said, we'll probably sell everything direct today before it gets too late. And we might be able to, to buy that or do the upgrade today. So we need to try and get... To uh, a couple more hundred. Oh my god, we're on 24.8. Okay, yeah, easy guys. We can sell a few things here to Pierre and we should have enough. Some more fences are broke. No, luckily I made a few more. Right, I need the watering can because these crops need a good drink. Oh, got some maple syrup. I'll sell that as well. Why not? I'm going to take anything I can. But we've definitely got enough money today, right? Especially if we've got some crops done on the other side. So what I'm going to do is sort thin out. Good morning, big boy. Let's give it the seeds of water as well. And I'll see you on the other side of the farm, guys, when we sort the cows out and the rest of the crops. Right, let's let the cows out. And I forgot the milk pail. Of course I did. That's why I need to keep putting it in this chest. God damn it. Oh my god. Today's a great day. The cranberries are done. Perfect timing. We've definitely got enough to get the barn upgrade. So I'm going to go to Piers, sell all of this, and go straight up to uh, Robin and get this barn upgraded, guys. We've done it. We've finally got to the final stage of the barn. Now all we need to do is save up enough money to get a goddamn pig. Oh, we've also got a random hazelnut that's going to be sold as well. We still might need a little bit more stone, though. Hmm, that's a worry. Hopefully we've got enough. Another help request has been posted today. Oh my god, Demetrius is paying out. What the hell? He wants us to kill four more of these uh, crabs for 720 gold again. He's paid out so much money. 
Right, seeds for sale. So I want to sell everything I've got here. We've got so many cranberries. Oh, look at that, guys. On 27k. And all of these as well. Beautiful. So we've got enough. Let's head up uh, back, well, back to the farm first, right? Because we need to go and get the wooden stone. Now let's get this barn upgraded. Yes! Oh my god, and all this has just popped up as well. What a great day today. All of these are going straight into here. Right, let's still sort the, uh, the cows out. I need to double check how much stone we need. I don't want to make a wasted journey, so I might have to wiki this. Let's get your milk. Thank you. Right, milk pails away. One is large and one's normal today. Hmm. That ain't good, is it? God damn it, guys. We need 300 stone. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't... Oh, we're going to have to go to the mines quickly. What time does Robin close? She closes at 5 p.m., which means we've got, like, four hours to try and get 300 stone. And somehow, I don't think we're going to do that. No, no, no. I mean, could, can you buy stone? How much does it sell for? We need 63, right? How much is that going to cost? As long as it don't put us below 27k, we should be all right. So maybe I can buy it straight up. I'll have a quick look first. Ooh, a chewing stick. We need that one. All right, let's have a quick look, guys. I want a shop. It's 20 for one. Oh, that's, that's quite good, right? I can't go below, though, 25k, right? Right, we need 40 more. Come on. We did it, guys. We've still got 26.5k. We've got 300 stone. Rather than going to the mines and wasting time, let's just do that. So, construct farm buildings. We're going to go to a big barn now. Um, deluxe barn, that's the one. There we go. 25k, 550 wood, 300 stone. We've got it, guys. We've got it. Oh, my God. It feels good. That's going to be done in a couple of days. In the meantime, let's try and make as much money as we can in that time to, to get the pig. The only problem is we've not got very long left to fall, and that's the only time we can get a pig. So we've got to do this very fast. We can't afford to lose any time or waste any days here. So let's build this. There's so much money in the first year. This is something I'd never normally do. I'd never get the deluxe barn in the first year. I probably wouldn't even have pigs in the first year. But because I'm trying to do that community centre, we still need that truffle. So, it's got to be done, guys. Is that two or three days? Hopefully. And we've still got one and a half K. Not too bad. But how much is it for a pig? I want to say 12K. It's actually more. Oh, my God. It's 16K. It's 16K for a pig. Oh, okay. We've got to do some fishing, guys. I've got two or three days to try and get as much money as I can. So... Let's get it done. It's going to be tight, this. It's going to be so tight. We could do the mine thing again as well. Get that 750 gold from Demetrius. It's very good money. Very good. Okay, straight away, let's sell these. Boom, boom. Let's store some things back away. I'm going to put two gold bars on the go. Quickly do this wood. The, the fence here, which is broke again. There we go. And I'm going to go down to the beach because from 6 p.m. onwards, you can try and get the super cucumber, which is quite valuable. But then when it gets to around half past nine, ten o'clock, I'm going to head up to the lake and do some very late night fishing because we can try and get the midnight uh, carp, which is worth quite a bit of money as well. One of the most valuable fishes we can get around this time of uh, year and season. So let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, I want to try and make some money now. There's nothing on this help request yet. I think it resets every Monday, I believe, somebody has said. Or every Sunday. It's like a new week. So we need to be accepting those right at the start. So we get longer to do them. We've got a uh, Trilobite. We've already got. So let's try and get these super cucumbers. We've got, well, they don't start. They don't start coming until 6 p.m. So we'll just try and catch some other fish in the meantime. Okay, it's 6 p.m. So the super cucumbers will now be available, but these are quite tough to catch. So we've got to be on this. And there we go, there's the first one of the night. It took quite a while to get this one, but that's going to be great money. This is what we need to work towards. Some of these up until we go up to the, the lake. Now the reason why I want to switch up because uh, midnight carps, they sell for a little bit less, but they're easier to catch. And I feel like I find them more. Super cucumbers are very hard to catch. You have a long battle with them. And yeah, you don't find them often.
I've decided to stay here, guys. I'm gonna try and hunt for the super cucumbers. I'm hoping to get at least two or three more. And this is the foot. This is one of them right now. These are worth 500 gold for an iridium quality. That's on full profit. <laughs> but obviously, an iridium quality for us would be 250 gold. And these gold ones here are worth 375 gold. Actually, no. With the fishing profession, which we've got, this should be worth 468 gold. Well, obviously, it's half for us. So these could be two to 300 gold each, which is obviously really good. So if we can get at least two more of those, that's a good night's fishing. They are more valuable than the Midnight Carp, so it makes sense. And obviously, we've got to get the journey up there as well, so we lose time. So let's just stay here, try and get a few more of these, and I'll probably see you in the morning, guys. And here we go. The end of the night. Look how much the fishing made, guys. Exactly what I wanted. Nearly two grand, which is what I said I'd be happy with. We only managed to get one more super cucumber from where I left you guys. So we've got three in total, which is 281 gold each. Obviously, it's done the math for me. I said nearly 300. So that made us 843 gold. Very good to hunt for those. And then the albacores aren't too bad either. So if you do get some of those whilst trying to get the super cucumbers, it's not too bad. So that's 2k. We've, uh, another step closer to the pigs, right? Long way to go yet, though, because we're only on three, three and a half thousand. So we've still got quite a lot to go. We're going to play through this last day, see what today brings. No more rain again. Queen of the sources today. We've got trout soup and we've learned how to cook it. Nice. Fortune teller. Ooh, we've got a very good look today. Oh, and look at this. The pumpkins are done. I am happy to see them. So that's going to boost us up with money straight away because they are very profitable. But also, I will keep some because the pumpkin juice is very good as well. We need one for the bundle still. So I'll keep hold of one of them at least. Okay, crops are all watered and sorted. The chickens are loved. Let's go and get their eggs. I forgot about their mayonnaise yesterday because it's quite late. So we're going to have eight of these to sell today. And we know how much money these give us at the moment. So that's not too bad. We should have some cheese as well. I think I forgot these. No, all the crops are done. So let's put... Oh, Finn, Finny boy. Let's not forget him. There we go. What's happened here? Is that the gate that's broke? God damn it. So let's sell these. I'm going to keep a normal quality. Uh, we'll sell those ones. So I've kept one for the community center and two I'm going to put in here. I'm going to make some juice out of that. So we need to put those into the keg. We need to also start making some pale ale. I could do with more kegs. Let's see how much. So we need wood, copper, iron and oak. Wood, copper, iron and oak. Let's see if we can make any of those. So we can make four. Okay. I'll do that. I'll take four kegs right now, I tell you. So what I'm going to do is make a little production here, uh, just somewhere here with all the kegs. It'll be a lot easier to manage then. I'm going to get this other one when it's done. And now, guys, we're going to start making some big money, all right? This is what we need to do here. So for now, I'm going to do the hops. Because we get pale ale. Pale ale is very, very good money. Also beer and things like that. But we've not got any big, big stuff for wine. Blueberry wine's not bad, but I can make that into jelly, and that's just as good. Uh, the pumpkins can be made as juice. And we should have more of these on the other side of the farm. So let's go and take a look. This shouldn't take long before we start getting big money and making um, a lot of it ready for the pig. But here we go. We've actually got some fruit here. I'm going to take the pomegranate. This will be good to turn into jelly or wine as well. We'll keep the other two in there. It might boost some more uh, fruits. Let's check on the crop situation over on this side of the farm. Uh, ooh, cranberries. Okay, so this is also very good for wine. I'll keep a few of these. Looking good over here. Looking very, very good. There's the cheese from yesterday. We're also going to get two more. So let's get the milk pail. Ah, oh, there they are, both over here. Yeah, they're happy with us. Good, good. Did give me no large again, though. One's gold quality. That's not bad. So let's get that in there. That should be done later on today. And I think that's about everything on the farm. So what can we do today? We've got to go to the mines. I've still got a final day today to kill four more lava crabs for Demetrius, which is, like I said, very good money again. So we should probably go ahead and do that. Let's get all this mayonnaise, though. We can sell all this right away. 
with the cheese. So yeah, maybe let's have a mine day. So I've sold a lot of them cranberries. I'm going to keep a few, like I said, for our kegs down the bottom here. So let's get our new sword. I'm going to try that out today. I'm so excited. I forgot the milk pail again. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm I suck at that so bad. But it's fine, it's fine. We're not going to take too much space up anyway. So I'm actually going to sell these two fruits here. Gold stars, we don't want them into the produce machines because it might lose value. Okay, so let's go. Let's go up to the mine and try and get this quest done. Demetrius has paid out so much in this episode. This, this episode's all about him. If we complete this one, it would have gave us so much money. Absolutely insane. Now I've realized I have not focused on any relationships in this episode. We've not spoke to Haley, no uh, Linus, Pam or anything. We've not done anything like that, but everything does reset, reset today. So in the next episode, We'll focus on that. We'll give a few gifts. We'll talk to the people. We couldn't really do much in this episode because, like I said, we already gave our gifts anyway. Uh, there he is, speaking of the devil, by the way, Demetrius. We are on two hearts with him because, obviously, we keep doing this quest. So, uh, it's good to take a break from work every now and then. Well, I'm not taking a break, mate, because I'm doing all your work for you. I guess that's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Yeah. And accepting your requests all the time. Hey, at least in the winter, you don't have to worry about crops. Well, I've still got a lot more things to worry about. Okay, let's get to it, guys. Back onto the lava floors. Let's go to 19. I'll work my way down because we might find some on the way. A new sword. Okay, slow. Oh, it's powerful though. It's very powerful. Now, I actually do need stone as well. So I can't really forget about this because we've literally spent all of our stone uh, on this barn upgrade. And in case I need more, we've got none. Is there any crabs? Is that one? No. What about this one? Nope. And what about this one? Not on this floor. Oh, this, this weapon kills slimes so much more quicker. It's amazing. I think I've got a coffee. I'm going to get a speed boost here. I've missed this stuff. Come on. There we go. That feels so much better. Whee! No messing about. Okay, infested floor. Is there any crabs though? Nope. Oh, yeah, this one is. We've got one here, guys. It's a good job I'm fast, isn't it? Woo! Yep, I like this sword a lot. It's so much better. It's helping us out massively. The slimes can be a bit tricky because they are fast. Especially when they slow you down like that. Nothing a few blackberries don't uh, sort out though. So, we need three more crabs to go. And there's the way down. Okay, there's got to be someone here, right? Come on. This seems like a big floor. I don't think there's any on here. What the hell? A red mushroom though, wow. We're not looking so good guys on this, this run for the lava crabs. Oh, for God's sake, goddamn bats, man. They're nearly killing me as well. It's hard to get used to this sword with how slow it is. And we need a better pickaxe. Right, come on. I can't find any at all and it's 6 p.m. I've only found that one. Right, okay, here we go. There's our second one. This took so long, though. We need to at least get one more on this floor. There's a purple mushroom. That's not too bad. No, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a black slime as well. Get rid of those first. And there's no crabs here, either. The ones that we need. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to die. My l health is very low right now. I did not get prepared for this. Let's get this to the top before we actually continue with this floor here. Because this is going to be tough. Right, there's one crab up here. Okay. We need one more, guys. I'm going to actually uh, leave this floor and try and get onto another one and find one because we need to go and talk to him as well. I think it's too late. I think we might have failed this one again. I just couldn't find them. I could not find them at all. Last time, it was so easy. I think we found two or three on one floor. There's a diamond, though. <laughs> I'll take this. Actually, two of those. Okay. We've made our money. It's worthwhile. And it's 12 p.m., and I still couldn't find one more crab, so we definitely didn't do that. It's a shame. That would have been good money. I could have spent this day fishing or something instead. But I was certain we could have done that. But that was a lot trickier than I thought. We found a few mushrooms and some diamonds, though, so I guess the value is going to 
kind of be worth it. We're going to make a little bit of money back from that. But not a very productive day. But we did have some crops that was finished though. So, you know, not too, too bad. We should have some good money today. I forgot about the two cheese, but we can get that tomorrow. That's fine. Ooh, the crop fairy has decided to come and sort out our crops. And look, the pumpkins were done there as well. Was they ready today and I forgot about them? No, right? I didn't see them ready today, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty decent. And look at the farming, guys. Oh, my God. We made 8,000 gold. <laughs> the diamonds for 750 there. Obviously, it's halved, so you need to uh, sell two to get the value of one. Because one should sell for 750 gold. Kind of tough for us, but that's not too bad. But look at the farming here. Absolutely beautiful. What a great day. That's going to boost us up a lot. So, literally, in the next episode, I'm hoping on maybe the 16th of fall... So today we'll probably finish off getting the rest of the money and on the 16th on Tuesday we should have enough money to get the pig, right? And then from the 16th, is that going to be enough time to mature the pig by the 28th? I don't know, we'll have to see. But that's going to be the next episode. Looks like an ancient fruit's popped up. The fairy rose honey. So lots of things here that's going to give us some good money. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And for some good luck, if we can try and get this community center complete in the first year. We are very, very close. There's only a few more bundles we need to work on. But the main one is this thing here, the truffle. If our pig can find us one of those before winter... We basically have completed this because everything else should be perfectly fine and achievable. So uh, let's get it done, guys. Subscribe if you haven't, if you are new here. Thank you for all the love and support on this playthrough and all the videos in general. We are on the road to 100k. Every day we get hundreds of new subscribers. So welcome to all of you who are new. Welcome to the Shark Army. Thank you for the support. And hopefully you do stick around and enjoy the Stardew Valley content and games similar to it. Make sure you all stay safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you all on the next one.